try to be on a low carb diet, not necessarily keto diet, because when I'm on a keto diet, I just don't feel like working out hard and I like working out hard. Another major problem with people who go on a keto diet and sometimes go on a dirty keto diet, right? Uh, they do not understand the whole concept of medicine. So when we treat diabetes, we are not just trying to bring your blood sugars down. That is just maybe one in a 10 goal. But when you don't know about everything, your goal is about, okay, I need to bring my blood sugar down. But that's not everything. When you have diabetes, that is end of the story. It's like you're, you're already insulin resistant. You already have underlying possible cardiovascular disease. Your blood sugar goes up at the end of the story. So uh, it's like, you know, after the storm comes over, you're trying to fix things. But the thing is, you really need to pay attention to everything else that goes around diabetes. What are they? Cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, and strokes. So if you're controlling your blood sugars without reducing your risk of heart attack and stroke, then you're probably going to uh, die young with a wonderful blood sugar. That's not what we want, right? So we want to bring the blood sugar down along with the risk of cardiovascular disease. Statistically speaking, again, that's, that's numbers. Numbers talk, then numbers are generally right. Two th or two thirds of diabetics die from heart attack and stroke before they become, they go blind, before they become dialysis dependent, or they be before they lose their feet and stuff like that. So your primary goal when you have diabetes is to avoid heart attacks and strokes before you worry about dialysis. So if you go on a keto diet, right, and then you start eating bacon or red meat, all this animal fat, you are going to have a major problem with your cholesterol. Now, not only that, on keto diet, you're not able to exercise well because your muscle mass, go, muscle mass goes down, your muscle needs glycogen and glucose, so you end up ignoring the exercise part just because you're enjoying the weight loss and all this good stuff, your blood sugar is down, you're enjoying this. But what you don't see, your LDL starts climbing up because of the uh, animal fat you're eating, your HDL, which is the good cholesterol, goes down because you stop exercising. HDL only goes up when you do cardio and enough cardio. It's not just walking the dog and you know going to the park and having a mile or two. Uh, you know the HDL will go up, and that is a very important protective factor from heart attacks. Is that you have to keep exercising. Now, exercising for an hour cardio, for example, is not just going to be easy when you're on a keto diet. So when you're on a keto diet, make sure your doctor monitors your cholesterol and make sure your LDL stays below 100 and your HDL stays above 50, possibly better if it is above 60. So if you're not paying attention to your 